I am, yes. Okay. So Han Solo made him one of the most influential people in all of history. Uh, but when he said, I'm only in this for the money, he lost some credibility. So today I want to talk to you guys about my interpretation of the quote. Um, whether or not I agree with it. And finally, uh, some real world examples of this. So I definitely think that I definitely think that I'm only for the money is somewhat selfish and egotistical, and that it leads to people's downfall because ultimately you're setting on others in order to get the money. So therefore, I have to disagree with it. And I've definitely seen this happen, like in Wall Street examples. You know, like CEOs will embezzle money because they're so interested in the money that step on other people and ultimately hurt them. So. So I've talked about that I disagree with the COVID and that I gave you some examples about uh, Wall Street um, and lastly I interpreted this. Well, you sort of use the quote as the attention device, and it wasn't bad because you have a nice transition to the point you're trying to make. I do think that you let your first point try to be the thesis statement, and you want to make the thesis a little bit more distinct. Uh, at the end of the speech, your summary actually, I mean, it's basically uh, a complete version of the speech, and what we're missing is the content. You kind of give us uh, a skeletal outline of what you're going to talk about, and basically you just say what those points are. You don't really have any details or incidents or events to describe. It's like telling people about, sorry, I know you're doing that. You know, it's like saying, well, what'd you do today? I went to Disneyland. Was it good? Yeah, I rode the rights. You know, and uh, well, yeah, I knew that that's what you did at Disneyland, but uh, what'd you think about that? Or how did you feel? Which rides did you ride? Uh, did you have good experiences or bad experiences? There's just not no meat to it. We've got a skeleton without any flesh on it, and I think you need to give it a little bit more personality as a speech. Um, you need to project your voice more, especially at the beginning of the speech, so that you've got some control over what's going on. Uh, you, you smile in a friendly way at the audience, but sometimes it looks like it's kind of a nervous smile instead of uh, being engaged with the audience. And you, you've got your hands in your pockets 90% of the time that you're speaking. That really looks nervous. It, it doesn't really feel like you're getting involved at the speech. It's like, I'm going through this, I'm enduring it, and it's going to be over quickly. You want to, you, you want to be the one who's in control, and uh, that means that you have to be a little bit more engaged. All right, thank you.